Hello and welcome to the Managing Uncertainty Podcast. I'm Brian Strausser, Principal and Chief Executive here at BrightPath. And in episode 249, I want to talk about how to get feedback from your business partners as the resilience leader, as the leader for business continuity, crisis management, and more in your organization. I'm a big advocate of talking with stakeholders in order to understand their perspective, to learn more about their business, and to truly understand what they think about your team and program. It helps you identify gaps that as the resilience leader, you can move on and address uh, in your planning, in your strategy and partnership uh, engagement as the resilience leader in your organization. It's also a way to learn more about the needs of your partner so that you can structure your program in the right way to address those needs. So here are some common questions that I like to use uh, as I'm coaching resilience leaders on how to improve their engagement. The first one is, what are some challenges you're currently faced with in your area of responsibility? So you're digging into what's in front of them as a business. Uh, and then the follow on question is, what are some major initiatives in your current area of responsibility? You'll likely see some connection between the challenges they're faced with and some major initiatives that they're working on but you might also learn about some strategic changes coming to the organization, coming to that part of the business that you need to be able to address. The third question is one of my favorites. It is, what is your perception of my team? For example, when my team calls you, do you think I am excited as hell to talk to my partners in resilience, my partners in business continuity, or you're like, oh shit, I got to talk with these bastards again. Which one is it? And why do they think that? And listen and take notes. I like to ask what your interactions have been like with our team. Have they been positive or negative? Do you feel like they understand your business? Do you feel like they're partners to you and the challenges you're faced with in your organizations? The next question is, do you feel our team understands your area of the business? And that will help uh, clarify some of your observations with earlier questions. What are some things that keep you up at night in terms of disruptions or crisis situations? And do you feel like those things are being addressed in the organization? Now, often I find that there's good alignment around what these are across leaders in the organization, but sometimes I'm surprised by what I hear. Uh, gaps in the organization's risks that uh, we didn't identify before. And then lastly, do you have any other critical feedback on how we might be better partners for you and your team? Now, these are hard questions. These are questions that require your partners to think. They're questions that require you to listen with intent and take notes and not react, but ask probing questions, examples, uh, things that you can uh, seek more information about so that you and your team can ensure that your strategies for resilience and your focus as a resilience organization are truly connected to what your business partners need. That's it for this edition of the Managing Uncertainty Podcast. We'll be back next week with another new episode. Be well. Thanks for watching our video. To learn more about how to manage uncertainty and disruption in your organization, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to our video channel. And here are a few more videos that we've selected that will help you learn more about business continuity, crisis management, and crisis communications.